All right, so check out this gadget. It's called the Ink Bird. Uh, that's the, the brand. It's a temperature probe. It's got a five foot cord on it. Uh, this is the manual. I ordered this off of Amazon. I will leave a uh, link down below if you'd like to check it out. Um, here's more or less the quick description. But what this does uh, in, in summary quickly is you plug this in and then you can set different ranges of temperature uh, to uh, trigger at what we'll call the motor in something like this. So this is a chest freezer, a little dirty there, um, that I'm gonna turn into a cold plunge. And so what happens here is you insert this little probe right there towards towards the bottom. I put a, just a little bit of tape on there just kind of keep it in place. That's not necessary. Once water's in here, it's just gonna flow. But that probe right there then follows over to this core, this module here. I don't have it plugged in yet. I'll show you that in a second. And you can set different ranges of if you want it to turn on at say 50 degrees, you want the water to stay at 50 degrees. It will only turn the motor on uh, until of uh, the freezer uh, until it gets to 50. And then this thing will shut it off so it doesn't turn into an ice block. Now the cool part about this device that I think is really neat is you can heat or cool. So you have to be very, very specific when you plug this in. I'm gonna use it for cooling, not heating, but that is an option, just keep that in mind. It does both, so be careful where you plug it in. All right, so this is just the initial plug-in. Um, like I said, I, I plugged mine into the cooling, so this is the cord coming from the freezer. Um, this is what it looks like when you first turn it on. Um, it doesn't, uh, uh, these are the factory settings is what I'll call it. So here are the setup uh, descriptions. Um, I'm not going to read these to you, but this is the important part. To start uh, setting, uh, you hold the set key for three seconds, and then it'll set up the, 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 the flow chart here of your, your top ranges, your bottom ranges, um, things like that. These are the descriptions of all the different codes. So you can see like uh, temperature calibration, SCA, compressor delay, PT. I don't know how in the world they got PT out of that, but whatever. Um, anyway, you can just kind of see uh, the different temperature settings. Um, here's a little bit more about different errors. All right, so I kind of jumped ahead, but I wanted to test this. Um, basically what you want to do I have this now set to Fahrenheit and for 50 degrees, and you can see it's already cooling. It's currently at 74.7. But what, what was confusing, and I'll try to make this simple, if you press and hold this for three seconds, you'll go into program mode. Now, if you, if you hit the set button, you can scroll through all the different settings. So the first thing I did was go to here, CF, and then you can toggle between the uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then when you wanna get out of here and go to the next one, you go to the next one. And so I wanted to set the bottom limit for 50 degrees. Let's see. All right, so I kind of jumped ahead, but I wanted to test this. Um, Basically what you want to do, I have this now set to Fahrenheit and for 50 degrees and you can see it's already cooling. It's currently at 74.7. But what, what was confusing, and I'll try to make this simple, if you press and hold this for three seconds, you'll go into program mode. Now, if you, if you hit the set button, you can scroll through all the different settings. So the first thing I did was go to here, CF, and then you can toggle between the uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then when you wanna get out of here and go to the next one, you go to the next one. And so I wanted to set the bottom limit for 50 degrees. Let's see. All right, so I kind of played around with this for a while. Um, I already have it set the way I want it, but I'll explain this. Hold the set button for three seconds. It will get you into program mode. 
Then once it's, this is program mode. So this is what I just set mine for. The E5 is for the cooling, the temperature. I want it to be 50 degrees. If you want to scroll through this though, just, well, it already kicked it out. It gives you three seconds. Hold it for three more seconds. So hit the set button. It'll go through the different settings. So for example, if you want to change it to Fahrenheit, you go to CF, which is Celsius and Fahrenheit, and you just click this up and down, it'll cycle through. So any of the settings you want to go through, that's how you move it, and this is how you adjust it. When you're done, you then hold this for three seconds, and boom, you're in there. So right now it's essentially 77 in there, and this is the probe reading, and this is... Um, All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh, the video's making it flash, but it's not doing that in person. Um, I've got it set for 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's cooling. I hear, I heard the motor kick on the freezer as soon as that happened. It's currently showing a temperature of 72.3. So again, I'm out of the program mode. <laughs> it's pretty wild how it's flashing. Um, this is not difficult to set up. Now, it does get a little confusing about this, um, th the, maybe the different alarms. There's a lot of options here. But if you're just using it for the purposes of what I'm using it for, it's not that complicated. So a little bit of a longer video. Just work with the, the different flow patterns here. You'll figure it out. It's super easy to use.